Hi folks, from SlideNerd, this is Vivs over here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can make this simple app over here on the screen with a great view. So what does this app do? Nothing great. It displays different country flags. When you click on one of the flags here inside the grid view, a separate dialog box opens. It shows the image, which is actually not shown over here. It shows the name of the country. And then it has an OK button. You just click on OK. This dialog box closes and you're back to the same old grid view screen. Now as simple as this looks, it's a very complex application considering that there are several steps. If you're beginners, yes, this is going to be the first and the biggest one you made so far as, per, as far as my playlist is concerned. So let's actually see what are the different steps involved. So I'll be using Android Studio for making this and as you guys see, there's a whole lot of steps involved in this. Now don't worry, we will take one step at a time try to understand what is going on and then move to the next one. So in this video, you're going to do the first step, which is prepare data sources, images inside the drawable folder that contain the different country flags, the names of the different countries as an array inside strings.xml. So let's go here to our RES, right click, new, Android resource directory, select the drawable option from here, click OK. So as you see now, the drawable folder has been created here on the left side inside RES. We need to put those images inside this. So I'm going to go to my desktop, copy the images. All right. So at this point, the images have been copied to my clipboard. So I select the drawable, press control V for pasting stuff, click OK. And there you go. Those 10 images of different countries are here. Now each image is 100 into 75 by size. In my case, they're all of the same size. They're all JPG images or JPEG images as you call them. Next thing, we need to have the names of the countries inside our app somewhere. So that the best place is obviously strings.xml where you put textual data. But instead of having a new string and giving all of them separate names, I'm going to make a single string array that is going to save us a whole lot of trouble. I'm going to say string array name as country names. Now use the item tag to put the elements. So I'm going to say item Germany. The same way I need to repeat this item tags for other country names. So I'm going to copy paste this and let me actually complete it. So at this point, if you guys notice my string array has been complete. All the country names are inside this list. That completes pretty much our first step, which is about preparing the data sources, the images and the text. Now moving to the second step, we need to create a grid view in XML. So I'm going to go to our main activity layout, which is activity underscore main dot XML here. As you guys notice, there's a relative layout. I'm going to the design tab. Now I need to put a grid view inside. So where is the grid view? It's down here inside the container section. You see the grid view, just drag and drop it top left and we are done. So going back to the text tab over here, this is our grid view, which has been added. Now it has this ID, which I'm going to use when I'm calling this in Java. And then there are some other attributes that I need to customize. Now, if you guys have seen my last video, I've talked about the different attributes of the grid view in detail and how we can customize them. So here I'm going to directly move. The first thing I need to change is the number of columns. I'll use this Android num columns attribute over here. Now I can say the number of columns should be one or two or three but that doesn't make sense. For example, let's say four. So now your grid view will always have four columns, no matter what. But remember, different devices have different screen sizes. On a bigger device, four columns may be good, but on a smaller device, you will probably ruin the user interface with four columns when there is no space. So you want to use this attribute auto fit, which keeps the number of columns variable for different devices. The horizontal spacing between different columns, I'm going to say horizontal spacing as 10 dp. Observe on the right side, things change a bit here as I put these attributes. Again, vertical spacing, observe on the right side, I'm going to say 10 dp and things separate nicely amongst each other, right? Now, the last thing I'm going to have is the stretch mode. Stretch mode, if you guys remember from my last video, controls what should happen with the extra spacing after the columns have been created. So I'm going to say Android stretch mode is spacing width uniform. Then I'm also going to give the number of uh, the width of the column. I'm going to say column width 120 dp. If you guys remember my image is 100 dp. So considering the space on the left and right, I've given the width as 120 dp for a column. 
spacing width uniform is going to take the remaining extra space divided equally on the left and right of each column and we are done so now going back to our main activity now third step we need to bring this grid view from XML to Java because remember inside our uh, XML file we have created the grid view the grid view does not have any data inside all these things you see on the right side on the screen are nothing but dummy data that is shown just to make you understand what is happening with all these attributes on the screen we need to actually fill the data and that happens at runtime inside Java code so for that I'm gonna bring the grid view here I'm gonna say grid view migrate now since we already have the grid view object defined in XML I just need to bring this inside Java code with all these properties right for that I have given the ID over here which is at the rate ID slash grid view I will use this ID by saying find view by id r dot id dot grid view this will give me the grid view object so I'm gonna initialize this by saying my grid equals to this now there is one small thing you need to remember find view by id returns a view object on the left side we have a grid view object so we need to perform type casting press alt enter perform the type casting and we are done so at this point we are done with three simple steps for the for getting us started now in the next video I will move further and talk about the different steps. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.